So we're here in the backyard at uh, 813 Edinburgh, and this is one of my favorite stories to tell. Uh, when we bought this place, the existing egress window in the basement wasn't actually egress at all. You can see it was cut down to about here. Uh, and it was a pretty small window and nobody could escape out of it and the room was kind of your typical dark basement. So in order to make this uh, a legal bedroom, we had to put in bedroom egress. Uh, picked up the phone, I called a couple of window guys, had one guy come out, he looked at it and uh, at the time it was just a small window in here and I said, listen, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to make it bigger. Um, can you order me a window and let me know when it's here? And uh, he said, well, Dave, I'm not going to order the window for you. I, I don't think you're going to be able to cut the hole. I don't want to waste the money. Um, it's just going to be a little bit too difficult for you to do. I don't know how you do it. Um, so I kind of looked at him and I said, well, tell you what, meet me here again tomorrow and uh, we can talk about it again. So kind of looked at me sideways, but uh, he agreed. Okay, I'll come back. And uh, so I went out, I ordered a ring saw from Battlefield and I started cutting. Uh, it was a bit of a learning process for sure. We had to dig out a hole, make some space, bring the deck back a little bit so we had room to get the saw in, but we were able to cut the hole, uh, drop it down about another 18 inches and uh, made a nice clean cut, went uh, right through the foundation. Uh, note to self, when you take a, a concrete piece out that size, make sure you cut it into two or three pieces so that you can actually move it once it's cut. But uh, the guy came back the next, next day and uh, was so surprised he asked me to cut a couple more windows for him uh, and a few other jobs so didn't quite get into that uh, the side business but um, I've definitely cut a few more of my own since.